Hi guys, it's Micah. <laughs> As in person teaching is back, another thing is also back to NZ, the commute. And while, yes, there is buses, there is the tube, and there is walking, there's one dominant option for me, biking. But I know biking can seem quite intimidating once you kind of move to London and want to start doing it because it's a new city, it's a big city, a lot of cars, a lot of buses and maybe also driving on the left is new for you. Um, while this is all quite true, I can already tell you it's way easier than you think. London is quite bike friendly to be honest, there are a lot of bike paths, a lot of bike zones and also at LSE is pretty convenient. So I can only encourage you, if you want to do it, try it out. For those who are not sure yet if biking is their thing, London has a great option. It's the Santander bikes. It's just like rental bikes all over the city with docking stations at nearly every corner. And you can just rent them. I think it's about like two pounds for unlimited journeys in 30 minutes throughout the day. And you can also get like a yearly subscription for about £67.50 as a student and you can use the bike all year round every time. You just have to pick them and drop them off uh, at the Centenary Bike Collection spots and then you can cycle around all of the city. But maybe you want to be even more flexible, maybe you want to have your, your own bike, you want to park it everywhere. Totally understandable, I did that as well. And also that's not too hard. Well, finding a bike in the city may not be that easy, but once you've got one, it's pretty easy. So first of all, what you will need when you get your own bike is some equipment. You will need a helmet for sure, as you want to be safe on the street. Other than that, lights are very necessary, at least when you're driving in the dark, because you want to be seen, so you're safe. And well, you also want your bike to be safe when you leave it somewhere, so good luck is essential. Um, it also may be kind of recommended to wear like a high visibility jacket in cases of actually any time. Once you get driving, most of the map providers, Google, Apple, City Map or whatever, all of them do cycling routes which are really convenient. They are mostly only cycle routes, cycle paths, less busy streets and it really helps you out a lot and it still gets you to your destination pretty quick. Um, so routes are not really a problem now with the digital age and um, there are a lot of like really good marked out paths to LSE because there's a lot of unis around and um, city planners did quite well with that. <laughs> yeah, now once you arrive at LSE with your bike, where do you put it? Well, there's multiple options. You can either way leave it somewhere outside LZ, there are a lot of bike racks everywhere. You could just lock your bike there, leave it easy, quick. When you want to be safe that your bike is in a secure place and you maybe want to leave it for a bit longer, there are two big bike lockers around campus. Um, and you can just put your bike there with your LSE card, it's safe and secure, you can lock it and get it back in the evening, all very easy. At the same time, what is very nice is that there's also a maintenance station down there where you can kind of pump up your wheels and all that stuff so your bike is always in perfect shape. Now the bike pump you can also find on John Watkins Plaza which is also pretty convenient if you just need like a quick touch up. Yes, and that's actually all you kind of need. If there is sometimes the case when you just can't be bothered to bike again and you've got your own bike, well, you can still take your bike on the tube and overground to certain times, just check them out. And if you're not that confident yet of a biker, then there are great cycling trainings, both by the TFL, but also by LSE. So check those bike trainings out, become a proficient biker and start doing it. Bye.